The Coach's Corner, presented by Junk King. All right, we're back here on The Zone Extra. Anthony Calhoun here with you tonight. Time now for our Coach's Corner in four seasons at Carmel. His teams have won, get this, 85 games, including the 2019 for a state championship. The Hounds finished the regular season this year with a 20-2 and record and are set to begin postseason play coming up uh, tomorrow night against HSC. Let's welcome in to the Zone Extra. Good guy right here, head coach of the Carmel Greyhounds, Ryan Osborne. Coach, great seeing you as always. Glad you could be with us here tonight. Uh, big game coming up for your team uh, tomorrow, but here you are. Success, success, success with the Greyhounds. 20-2. and two. Uh, What do you like from what you're seeing from your team right now? We, we've had uh, great leadership this year. Uh, we ret returned most of our guys from last season and uh, a good group of seniors, uh, some juniors that, that have some varsity experience and uh, guys that just, uh, given all the circumstances, want to be in the gym together every day. Dealing with COVID-19, it has been a roller coaster for a lot of these teams here, but I got to commend yourself, these coaches around Central Indiana, the student athletes, how these kids are buying in. Hey, look, we got to be careful, safety first, if we want to see some action on the, on the court and, and play in the postseason. And look, here we are, postseason play. Um, how have you guys been able to navigate through this? A day at a time, honestly. Yeah. I mean, it's it kind of take with, with what you have and uh, take advantage of, of every opportunity. And uh, Our kids have, have been awesome, just like everybody around the state. Uh, they've taken it serious. and. Uh, giving our teams opportunities to go compete, and, and now you're starting to see uh, some fans in the stands, and it's tournament time, so uh, an exciting time of year, and uh, you, I think you got to give the kids credit. Uh, circumstances, honestly, that, that nobody's been through, and, and they're handling it like champs, so uh, appreciate all of them. Yeah, you know, we talk about you guys' record, only two losses this season, and they've been very close losses as well. <laughs> um, your schedule intense, very tough. Um, how much do you think that's going to help you guys as you get ready for postseason play coming up tomorrow night? Sure, we talk about that. We, we want to play a tough schedule. The, the conference is tough and um, it, it, you don't get a night off. Uh, and, and when the kids know they have to come uh, every Friday, Saturday uh, and compete and, and you're going to get people's best and uh, it's going to be a good team every weekend, you can't take practices off either. So. Uh, just the, the, the thought process of getting better every day, preparing yourself for uh, the next big game, which is the, the next one coming up. And uh, yeah. when we get through that, then uh, see what's next. But it's always been about trying to get a little bit better, and I think that schedule uh, plays into it. I know Fisher's got you guys this year mm -hmm. by a point, but you're not playing Fisher's. You're playing against HSC. Yep. Um, they won the other night. And so when you look at this team, uh, what concerns you about the Royals? They play hard. Uh, they play hard. They're physical. They, they crash the boards pretty well. Uh, they got some good inside physical play, and uh, I think their guards are, are really good. And, and I think anybody uh, that plays in sectional eight knows you're going to get a team that's well prepared. They're going to be well coached. They're going to have adjustments. Uh, their kids are, are going to play together. Uh, and so it's, it's every night you're going to see a challenge. Yeah, we look here at the sectional semifinals right now, as we mentioned, Carmel against HSC, and then Noblesville against Westfield coming up on the game on Friday night. Coach, you got some great players on your team, Brian Waddell and Pete Sutter. Uh, give me your take on them and just the, what they've been able to bring to the table for your basketball team this year, and especially, you know, you got the senior there. You know they want to, you know, definitely he wants to get to the, to the state championship, yeah? Yeah, yeah, and, and he's he's been really locked in on on his growth as, yeah. as a player, as a leader, as a, a teammate, uh, and and I think sometimes when you have the two guys in in different classes that uh, are both the alpha or the the better player yeah. in their class, sometimes they can clash. But uh, th those guys have done a phenomenal job uh, playing off of each other. Uh, they, I think they make each other better. Uh, they get excited when the other one makes a, a, a great play uh, or when the other the other one sees some success. So uh, it, it's it's a growing experience, I think, from a basketball standpoint, but as people, too, uh, they, they continue to, to impress me. So here we are. You've already won a state championship in four years. Um, what have you enjoyed most about being at Carmel and the type of program you have there? And just, you know, you, you look at, I was talking to you about your, your, your assistants. You got former players who, who played in the NBA, who are part of your staff as well. You got a pretty good thing going there at Carmel. I do. I'm, I'm very fortunate. And, and the, the thing that I, I would say um, 
most often is, is it, it's an opportunity for me to learn. In, in the growth that I've been able to experience over the last 10 years uh, is something that, that, that can be hard to explain uh, because the kids uh, in, in any given situation uh, teach me. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and teach me how to, to coach in certain yeah. scenarios and, and then the same thing with the coaching staff. I have a coaching staff that uh, works their butt off and uh, puts everything into the program and uh, we're fortunate. We're, we're very, very fortunate with the administration that supports everything and yeah. uh, kids that are all bought in and uh, it, it takes everybody and, and we've had some success uh, and sometimes those, uh, the, those people maybe behind the scenes that, that don't get enough credit uh, need to be talked about maybe more often. So here's the deal. They are still the defending champions. There's obviously <laughs> no state championship last year because of COVID-19. They won it all back in 2019. Uh, so we'll see if they can go back to back, if you will, and win a 4A state title. Always great to see you, my friend. Yeah. Good luck to you guys tomorrow against HSC and all the best you try to make a run to Bankers Life Fieldhouse in April during the final four <laughs> weekend. It's going to be a April. lot of fun. Hey, thanks a lot, AC. Appreciate you having me on the okay. show. No problem. We're going to take a timeout. Yes.